To the average person, the difference between art therapy and art-based therapeutic activities may seem quite hard to spot. The most important and key difference between the two is that art therapy requires the presence of a licensed art therapist. On the other hand, art-based therapeutic activities can be done on your own. While both can provide similar effects, like achieving emotional well-being, Art therapy is a thorough process guided by a mental health professional with the primary objective of helping the client to express and discover themselves and achieve lasting changes outside of the therapy session. This distinction is important as art therapists earn their title after pursuing a master's degree in an art therapy program. This is after they've finished pursuing a double major bachelor's degree in psychology and art. In other words, an art therapist's position is one that requires years of education and training in order to be certified. An art therapy session may look something like this. The art therapist first and foremost assesses the client by collecting information about them. The therapeutic goals for the session must be set on this first day. This typically focuses on self, family, and external environments to give the client a sense of meaning and purpose. After such, the art therapist introduces the art medium to the client. As the client does their art activity, the therapist's role is to observe. They may also participate or verbally communicate. It really depends on the situation. While well, an art-based therapeutic activity may look something like this. You are feeling stressed and burned out from all the academic requirements and personal problems you are going through. This stress weighs you down and makes you easily agitated. Thus. You look for a healthy solution to calm your nerves while also feeling a sense of accomplishment. So you start painting, mindfully, thinking about each stroke and letting all your emotions flow through and putting them on paper. After you've done such an activity, you feel more relaxed and calm. So did you learn something in this episode? Leave your thoughts below! Thank you for watching and remember to always keep your mental health a top priority!